Welcome friends to GCK Daily, a program designed to build you up and to bless you. Wow, I am so happy and so fired up by the prospect of the second day of this global crusade. Already we've seen God do incredible things in response to our yearning and desire for Him. Well, God is getting ready to move in a mighty, mighty way on this second day. So giddy up, strap on your seatbelts, and get ready for a journey into victory. God is about to change your story and set you ablaze for His glory. Dr. Kumi now brings the saving message of Christ to us. Be blessed. As we read already, God sent an angel from far away heaven here to the earth. He says, go tell them. Go tell every man, every woman. Go tell every person on earth that that peace we could not have for ourselves. The Father in heaven, God of all peace, is now sending that down to us. And the angel said, it will be for all people. It is for you tonight. I said it is for you tonight. Isaiah chapter 52. And I'm reading there from verse 6. It says, therefore, my people shall know my name. Uh, uh, that's the beginning. My people shall know my name. You know his name as the Prince of Peace. You know his name as the Savior. You know his name as the Lord. You know his name as the breaker of every yoke in life. Therefore, my people shall know my name. Therefore, they shall know in that day that I am he that does speak. Behold, it is I. He said, he is the one speaking. He is speaking to you tonight. And with his voice, with his word, peace will come in your life. And then, in, in, and then in verse 7, it says, How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him that bringeth good tidings, that publisheth peace, that publisheth, promotes, proclaims, and declares peace. That bringeth good tidings, of good that publishes salvation that says unto Zion thy God reigneth he publishes peace he comes to give you peace as you open your heart and say let the prince of peace come in the peace of the Lord that rules and reigns will come in your life. When there's no peace, we're torn apart. When there's no peace, there's confusion in the heart. When there's no peace, there's commotion in the heart. When there's no peace, there's no health. It's when the peace of God settles in your heart. When the peace of God pervades all your life. It will change your thoughts. It will change your mind. It will change your action. Your hand will feel the peace. Your feet will go in the direction of peace. Your mind will think the thoughts of peace. Your activities will be activities of peace. Your relationship will be a relationship of peace. 
your interaction will be an interaction of peace with everybody. And the Lord has come tonight to declare unto you the peace of God that will reign in your heart. Hey, look at verse 10 of that Isaiah chapter 52. The Lord has made bare his holy arm. In the eyes of all the nations. In Cameroon here, peace. All the nations of the world hearing the voice of God and the word of God and the provision of peace in all nations, peace. In every heart, open to the Lord, confessing to the Lord, I've not been having peace, I've not been enjoying peace, I've not been experiencing peace. As so you open your mind and open your heart and open your life unto the Lord, abundant peace will come in your heart. Hello friends, it's Bob Fitz here, worship leader and gospel artist, and you are watching GCK Daily, Global Crusade with Kumuyi. Heads bowed and eyes closed. You have heard the announcement. You now need to acknowledge. It's only after that, advance and progress will come in your life. Raise up that hand and you are telling the Lord, Oh Lord, I'm here. I want that peace announced by the angel. I acknowledge my need of the peace of God in my heart. If you are raising up your hand, you will stand up. You are standing up now for the peace of God to come into your heart. Jesus is the Prince of Peace. You are standing up to surrender your life to Christ. And to say, Lord, here I am. I surrender my life totally into your hands. You raise up your hand and then you stand up. And that peace will come. I'm praying for you now. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you because you have invited us. And you have brought peace for everyone. I pray that in your love and mercy and compassion, you forgive all their sins in Jesus' name. Grant pardon for everyone. Heavenly pardon. Royal pardon. The pardon from the King of Kings. Forgive all their sins as they believe on Christ right now. And let the peace of God now reign in their hearts. Let the joy of salvation now be evident in their lives. Turn their lives around. Let there be a real transformation in every life. And bring the old habit and the old lifestyle under their feet right now. In Jesus' name. Confirm your salvation in every heart. In Jesus' name we pray. Yeah. 
Let us pray. Father in heaven, we glorify your name. We worship and adore you. You love everyone. And it is not your will that anyone should continue in their suffering or sickness. And you have given us a promise that when we call upon you, you will heal, you will deliver. I pray, Lord, that right now, touch everyone, heal everyone in Jesus' name. Your sanity, infirmity in the head, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. Every sickness, every pain in the body, I command you in the name that can never fail, come out in Jesus' name. Sickness, whatever the name. Sickness on the inside. Sickness external in the body. Infirmity and pain. I command you be healed in Jesus' name. The name of Jesus destroy every work of the devil in your body. Healed, you are healed in Jesus' name. Free, you are free in Jesus' name. Delivered, you are delivered in Jesus' name. The blind, you begin to see now in Jesus' name. The pandemic, begin to hear, begin to speak in Jesus' name. Lame, paralyzed, or man, receive your miracle healing right now. Thank you, Lord, because we know it's done. It is done. It is done. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. As morning dawns and evening fades, you inspire songs of praise that rise from earth to touch your heart and glorify your name, your name. Is a strong and mighty tower. Your name is a shelter like no other. Your name, let the nations sing it louder. Cause nothing has the power to save but your name. Jesus, your name. Let's sing this together. Lord Jesus, in your name we pray. Come and fill our hearts today. Lord, give us strength to live for you and glorify name, your name is a strong and mighty tower, your name is a shelter like no other, your name, let the name 
nation sing it louder Cause nothing has the power to say your name Thank you for joining us for another episode of GCK Daily, the global crusade with Kumi. We believe that this episode has drawn you into a closer relationship with Jesus Christ who loves you so much and gave his life that you might live. As we conclude today, we would love to get to know you personally. Please visit us at gckhq.org slash cwc to connect with us and enable us to share our helpful resources with you. Also, the greatest thing you can do is share today's message with a friend, they can be blessed. We are grateful for the time you have given today, and we look forward to seeing you tomorrow on GCK Daily. We also invite you to join us at our next Global Crusade. Times and dates are listed on your specific geographical time. Thank you.